Hey guys, it's Ravenhawk6910 reporting once again from the Tennessee River Park in Chattanooga, Tennessee. And uh, forgive this, Hamilton County still has a mask mandate up, so I am wearing this to be compliant with the law for the time being. But I'm out here today, it's a nice cold fall morning. And uh, my item that I won from the MTH auction, the second MTH auction, arrived just earlier this week. So. I brought it out here with the nice morning light that we get down here at Tenbridge to show you guys. So, I know I've teased it a little bit, but let's go ahead and reveal it. Alright, moment of truth. So here it is. The item I won from the second MTH auction was this pre-production Canadian Pacific Royal Hudson number 2839. And uh, as you can see, there's something written on that cab. Southern 2839. What is the deal with that? Well, 2839 was the Royal Hudson that the Southern Railway leased back in the 1970s and early 1980s for the steam excursion program. And when they did that, they kept it, for the most part, in Canadian Pacific colors. The cab was fully repainted black. But they did letter it for the Southern. So it said Southern on the cab, it said Southern on the tender, and there was also a red plate that went across the front that said Southern Railway. So those were the only cosmetic changes they did to the engine. Other than that, it stayed in full Canadian Pacific dress. And I've been wanting the 2839 for a very, very long time. In fact, I had a Protosound 3 one on pre-order a while back, but then that order got cancelled and they never got made, so yeah, I kind of got screwed on that one. But, I do have this one at last in my collection, and it's a pre-production one. It's not completely finished, just like the two 2104s I got from the previous auction were. However, just like the two 10-4s, all of the detail parts to the 2839 were inside the shells of the engine, both the tender and the boiler. So, all of the parts, to at least have it cosmetically finished, are here. In fact, even when I saw it in the auction, the top of the tender wasn't even attached, it just looked like this. However, the top of the tank, which was a combination of two pieces, the coal bunker and then the top part that goes over it to make it into an oil bunker, those were both sitting inside the shell of the tender, and they were fairly easy to put together, and I just put it on top of the engine. Now, it does need some screws to hold it in place properly. And, of course, it does have two hatches that open up on the top. Now, when the 2839 was on the Southern Railway, it was a coal burner. So, even though that's the case, I kind of like the look of this oil tender a little bit more. So, I'll probably just end up keeping it as an oil burner. So, we'll see what happens. However, some parts that are missing on the locomotive, there are no pickup rollers on the engine, but there are two on the tender. Also, the tender does not come with a coupler, however, it does have a mounting pad for a scale coupler, so I guess that's a thing. Also, the drawbar on it is the MTH wireless drawbar, as you can see, and oh boy, that gap is massive. So, I'm probably going to buy the MTH drawbar kit just to bring that in a little bit closer, because that gap is big and it just amplifies it looking off with that fully weatherized cab that the Royal Hudson's have. But in terms of the appearance of the model, this is what I'm conflicted with and I, and I really want you guys to put your input on this. I really want to have this thing fully painted up to look like the 2839 as it did on the Southern Railway. However, I also like its current look sort of a half-done paint job. I mean, it's painted just enough to tell what it is, but it also still shows the lines of a pre-production model, which I really like. So, what do you guys think? Should I keep it as it is, or should I repaint it into full CPR dress with the Southern Railway letters? I really want your input on this, and in the end, that decision could impact what I do with this model. So, voice your opinions down in the comment box on that.
But yeah, this is a gorgeous locomotive. I really like it, and I got it really cheap compared to what the MSRP on the Royal Hudson's were. I only paid $150 for this, so for that price, like I said with the 2104s that I got before, I can afford a project locomotive like this. And this is one project I'm very looking forward to getting involved with, just like the other two steam engines from before. So there you go, guys. That's basically it. That's the 2839. So really happy with this purchase. And while I don't have any immediate plans for it, it's still a great model. And I'm really happy to finally have a scale Royal Hudson in some capacity. So you guys down in the comments section, let me know your opinion. Should I have this fully painted to be 2839 as it appeared on the Southern Railway? Or should I just slap a clear coat on it, put the detail parts on it, and just leave it as it is. I'm open to any suggestions from you guys, so leave your comments down in the comment section below, and I will see you guys in the next video and down the road. This is Ravenhawk6910, signing off.